Wagwan. Today we are going to talk about Jamaica's underground secret after Hurricane Melissa. When Hurricane Melissa slammed into Jamaica as a powerful Category 5 storm, its destructive winds and historic rains reshaped the island overnight. Homes were destroyed, rivers overflowed, and roads vanished beneath walls of mud and water. But as the storm clouds cleared, Melissa left behind a mystery, something hidden beneath Jamaica. For years, suddenly exposed, sinkholes cracked open. Farmland collapsed into hollowed chambers. Underground rivers pushed upward through newly formed vents. What Hurricane Melissa revealed was not just destruction, but a part of Jamaica's underground world. A geological secret shaped long before the first Taino canoe landed on its shores. To understand what Hurricane Melissa exposed, we first need to understand Jamaica's foundation. Jamaica, unlike volcanic islands such as St. Vincent or Dominica, was formed mostly from limestone, a soft rock created from ancient marine organisms. Millions of years ago, the entire island sat beneath the ocean as a vast, coral-covered shelf. Over time, tectonic uplift slowly pushed this limestone upward until it broke the surface and formed the island we know today. Because limestone dissolves easily in rainwater, the island transformed into what scientists call a karst landscape, a world of caves, sinkholes, underground rivers, and hollow chambers. More than 1,000 documented caves lie beneath Jamaica, though experts believe thousands more remain unmapped. These include famous formations like the Green Grotto Caves, the Cockpit, countries' underground rivers, and deep chambers beneath Trelawney, St. Anne, and St. Elizabeth. This is the hidden Jamaica, and Melissa ripped the veil wide open. After the storm passed, residents from St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Trelawney, Manchester, and Clarendon began reporting sudden ground collapses. Entire sections of farmland dropped several feet overnight. Caves opened beneath rural roads. In some areas, Water gushed upward from the soil, revealing the presence of underground streams that had been flowing undisturbed for thousands of years. Geologists from the University of the West Indies identified many of these openings as newly exposed entrances to Jamaica's prehistoric cave systems. Melissa's rainfall, similar to what happened during Hurricane Gilbert in 1988, triggered massive underground erosion. When too much water rushed through the natural tunnels, weakened ceilings collapsed. The storm didn't create these structures. It simply revealed what was already there. Long before hurricanes exposed them, these caves played a major role in Jamaica's ancient past. The Taino people, Jamaica's first inhabitants, used caves for ceremonies, shelter, food storage, and burial. Archaeologists have found paintings, pottery, and artifacts in caves from St. Catherine to St. Anne. During the era of slavery, caves were used by the Maroons as hideouts and strategic passageways. Some underground rivers in cockpit country still carry the names given by windward and leeward Maroons. By the 20th century, scientists began formally mapping caves, discovering fossils, rare minerals, and species found nowhere else on Earth, including blind cave shrimp and unique bat colonies. Hurricane Melissa has now uncovered new chambers that could hold untouched archaeological clues. Meteorologists classify Melissa as one of the most powerful storms ever recorded near Jamaica with winds exceeding 175 miles per hour and rainfall surpassing 25 inches in some regions. This combination created perfect conditions for karst collapse, when underground cavities lose support and the surface falls in. Researchers from UWI and international geological agencies recorded New sinkholes ranging from 6 to 30 feet deep, collapsed riverbanks showing previously hidden caverns, New springs emerging from underground rivers, displacement of soil revealing subterranean tunnels, cavities large enough to enter safely after stabilization. These findings confirm that Melissa exposed a deeper structural vulnerability within Jamaica's geography, one that will reshape development planning for decades. 
The hardest hit areas were rural farming districts in Plains of Westmoreland, South St. Elizabeth, Southern Trelawney, Manchester Interior, Clarendon Foothills, parts of St. James and St. Anne. Nowhere was this more evident than in the hardest hit parishes, beginning with Westmoreland, where communities such as Savannah Lamar, Negril, Sheffield, Little London, Grange Hill, and Betheltown saw the ground literally break apart. Entire yards sank several feet. Unexpected sinkholes appeared, and seawater pushed inland with unprecedented force. The parish's naturally flat terrain and porous limestone bedrock allowed floodwaters to seep rapidly underground, exposing ancient channels that residents had never known existed. St. Elizabeth, the nation's food basket, suffered equally severe damage, as farming communities in Junction, Southfield, Bull Savannah, Malvern, and Nain watched crop fields collapse into vast caverns. In Manchester, towns such as Mandeville, Christiana, Newport, and Walderston experienced landslides and hillside failures as water saturated the mineral-rich soil and weakened the limestone beneath, revealing shadowy tunnels and hollow chambers. Clarendon faced both extreme flooding across its low plains and major slippage in the Mocho Mountains, where surface layers crumbled into underlying voids. St. James endured road collapses and coastal erosion from Montego Bay to Anchovy as flash floods carved through soft rock and exposed weak points in the coastal foundation. St. Anne, already known for its vast cave networks, saw new openings and sinkholes emerge in Runaway Bay, Discovery Bay, Brownstown, and Claremont, confirming once again why it is called Jamaica's Cave Parish. Trelawney, especially areas around cockpit country and the Falmouth Corridor, experienced surging underground rivers and collapses in its karst landscape, the largest of its kind in the Caribbean. And across Portland, St. Mary, St. Catherine, and St. Thomas, swollen rivers, landslides, and coastal destruction added to the national emergency. The truth is that Jamaica, built largely on porous limestone, has always carried this hidden world beneath its surface. Hurricane Melissa didn't create these underground features. It exposed them. Scientists say yes, because Jamaica's underground system is still evolving. Every major storm reshapes the interior limestone, carving new channels and weakening old ones. This means more openings could reveal themselves during future hurricanes. However, improved mapping and geological surveys can help identify risk zones. Many countries with karst landscapes, including Belize, Cuba, and parts of Florida, use underground scanning to plan safe construction. Experts recommend Jamaica expand these models. Environmental groups warn that sudden exposure can threaten these delicate ecosystems. As Jamaica rebuilds from Melissa, its underground terrain is becoming part of the national conversation. The disaster has sparked interest in ecotourism expansion, scientific exploration, geological mapping, historical cave research, disaster resilient planning. What was once hidden is now an opportunity for science, for tourism, and for understanding the island's ancient past. Hurricane Melissa brought destruction, loss, and pain, but it also revealed a deeper truth about Jamaica. Beneath the island's surface lies a vast world, one shaped by time, water, and geology. A world that carries traces of the Taino, echoes of maroon history, and secrets yet to be uncovered. As Jamaica rebuilds above ground, we hope scientists and historians are preparing to journey in, exploring the underground of Jamaica that Hurricane Melissa has finally exposed. This is not just a story of disaster. It is a story of discovery, a reminder that beneath every storm lies another layer of truth, sometimes hidden, sometimes forgotten, but always waiting to be revealed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Jamaica by Design for more informative content.